always hear about a baseball player's tools. Speed. And a stolen base for Gardner. Power. Teixeira with a long two-run home run. Glove. That is going to be caught by a sliding Elfbury. But beyond the athletic attributes, so much of baseball relies on intimidation. The ability to strike fear into the opponent. Even the quietest of pitchers can carve through the most dangerous of lineups when armed with an angry confidence. Be one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. Off the field, I just I try to get along with everybody. You know, I, I feel like once I get to know somebody, I'll open up more. I'm a little shyer, have shyer tendencies. I think most of my teammates can tell you that. Warren's southern, clean cut persona reminds you of the friendly neighbor next door. But when he goes to work, his alternate personality takes control. When it comes time to pitch, it's, it's almost like you transform into, you know, this you know, extreme competitor. The pitch, strike three, caught him looking. I don't feel like I'm a total jerk out there <laughs> by any means, but you know, I, I want to go out there and, and be fierce when I'm out on the mound. Strike three. You know, Adam's always been a good pitcher. He's always been, you know, he's been a starter for the most part of his career, but since he's moved to the bullpen, he's found his niche. I mean, he's, he's got four quality pitches and, he, and he, he's got a lot more velocity than I've seen in the past. Fastball by him upstairs, two away. Big strikeout for Adam Warren. As Adam Warren's alter ego has helped ease the transition into a foreign role, David Robertson has done much of the same. You know, one of the big headlines coming in this year was, can he replace Mo? And those are huge shoes to fill. He picked up just right where Mariano left off. He's done a tremendous job, and he's been our role model, you know, for the bullpen. That's, that's our leader. You talk to people around baseball, they say he definitely has the stuff. Robertson has the stuff. For me, you know, all the years i worked with Mariano, the biggest thing that I've always tried to do that he's done is be consistent. This season for me has been just trying to continue to do what I did in the eighth inning in years past and the ninth inning. It's the same game. I still got to get three outs. It's just when I get my three outs, the game's over and it's finished. Other than a brief stint on the disabled list in early April, Robertson has been automatic. A crowd of over 41,000 looking for strike three. Robertson Diaz struck him out swinging breaking ball. And they get it. Struck him out swinging. Ball game over. Save. He struck him out. The Yankees win four to two. After save. His temporary replacement while on the DL, John Kelly. I always joke with him and say, I'll sell you my saves that I got while you were hurt because you'd be leading the AL. In his 18 months as a Yankee, Kelly has seen his role increase with every appearance. Struck him out swinging. Three straight strikeouts for Kelly. I think when you put the pinstripes on, you just get better. You know? <laughs> the hitters just, they fear you more. And I think Sean's kind of the goofball down in the bullpen. Oh, we're live. Let's see if I can get D-Rod right off the beginning here to start us off to a good day. See, I'm he here, here. Like, how about may I have the ball? Where are manners? Can you please look away so I can hit you with this? <laughs> I think that's great because he can keep things light. Are you going to do your high pitch nervous voice? How are you today, Skip? Oh, I'm pretty good. Good workout today? Great talk, Chase. Dynamite drop him. <laughs> Even the guy that has 11 words in his vocabulary m mumbled something to the manager. Joe's talking about basketball and all Chase goes, blisters. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> what? What are you talking about? It's real easy to get too serious down in the bullpen, especially in the early innings. And uh, I have a couple guys that really, you know, keep you laughing, keep you not really thinking about the game. I think that helps. What do you think Dellen and Hero are talking about? Rocket has the best farmer's tan on the team. Bang! Do some music, please. Music! Fuck the car. Baby! I think I should probably hit some today. Huh? I should probably hit in group three today. Pew pew! How you like them apples? We need some of that country music on right now. You know what I mean? I'm trying to entertain the people. Another successful BP, guys. But again, with everybody else, once, once the, the phone rings, it's completely serious, you know, and he can strike out just as many as anybody else can. Try three, strong inning for Sean Kelly. We're playing a lot of close ball games. We're playing one of the toughest divisions. And, you know, to go out there and put up zeros throughout the bullpen and not have any weak links in the armor, you know, is, is huge. So. We feed off that, we feed off each other, and, and it all starts with Dellen, you know, and his strikeout. So we're just trying to be like him. Dellen Batances, six foot eight, 100 mile per hour fastball, knee buckling curveball, a haunting glare, every hitter's nightmare. There's that breaking ball, frozen. Strike three, 100 miles an hour. <laughs> Off the mound, the gentle giant never forgets his roots. I think it's every kid's dream, man. I mean, just, you know, growing up playing here, always watching Yankee games on TV and watching guys like Mariano, Jeter. And for me to be drafted, meeting some of those guys, coming up through the organization, and, you know, now being, being at the major league level, I mean, it's every kid's dream. Now nearly a decade removed from his Manhattan childhood, Batances can reflect on the adversity that altered his path back to New York City. Once a heralded starting pitching prospect, the right-hander was moved to the bullpen last season after struggling in the AAA rotation. For me, the transition from a starter to a bullpen, I cherish it. I, I mean, I, I've enjoyed the process. You know, I felt like it made me a better pitcher. You know, I just feel like I'm more consistent with my delivery now. Something that I'm, I'm still learning is something that I enjoy very much. It's easy for Batances to enjoy his new role while he's dominating hitter after hitter. Swing and a miss. Struck him out swinging high heat. 99. Man, can he throw. I think he goes out there and he, he believes in himself and, you know, playing with him, for so many years, you know, I, I never really saw that confidence that he has this year. He knows he can strike a guy. He knows he can blow a heater by a guy. I think that's what makes him so good this year, is just he knows he can get the guy out. The pitch struck him out swinging, breaking ball. He's amazing that Dylan Batances. I'm just trying to do my job. I guess I transform a little bit. I think it's just the mentality coming out of the bullpen and knowing that, that you have a big situation and you gotta try to hold the lead or just do whatever you can to help the team win. In a pennant race in which every win is crucial, the club's success has hinged on the bullpen's ability to lock down games. The thread that weaves each reliever together has been one thing, strikeouts. A one, two, three, ninth inning for David Robertson. Strike three. three. Struck him out swinging. Ball game over. Yankees win. Once again, their bullpen was spotless. I think we push each other. When guy sees Dellen go out there and get two or three strikeouts, well, hey, if he can do it, you know, I want to go try to do that. We don't have that big name out of the bullpen, but we've got that extremely tall guy who throws 100, and he seems to scare everybody. We've got guys who know how to pitch. He got him 100 miles an hour. You could probably put six, six guys off the street with Dellen and probably be in the top top 10. <laughs> so <laughs> He strikes out the side again. Six straight strikeouts. We, we love quick outs. 
but if you have two strikes, we want the strikeouts. That's one of those things that is it's definitely exciting. The crowd gets going when you strike some guys out. That's what the pitch is like. Strikeouts are the best thing. As this special group continues to lead all major league bullpens in punch outs, they've established themselves as a force to be reckoned with. On the surface, they're a collection of humble, even keeled guys. But once they step onto the mound, they flip the switch. Just kind of like the Transformers. Yeah, we're nice guys in the locker room before the game, but I feel like when your name gets called down that bullpen, the mentality completely changes. I think as long as you can keep transforming into that fierce competitor like I was talking about, I think that's what we've been successful doing. That's a good uh, quote by Adam, because you know, Adam, He's one of the greatest guys in the clubhouse, you know, a quiet guy, but when he goes out there, he's definitely mean. Same thing, Sean, Sean, nice guy, keeps the clubhouse loose, but when he goes out there, he knows his time, and Robbie's the same way, and so transform is a good name for us. That's what we try to do, we try to go out there and transform into, you know, something special.